In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this low poly bow. So grab a drink and let's begin. So to begin, we want a cube. So press shift A and select cube. So next we want to make this look like a stick. So press S shift X and scale around the X axis. Go to edit. Then press Ctrl R to make a loop cut. Then select the outer vertices and press X and delete the vertices. And since both sides will look the same, we can use a mirror modifier to save us a bunch of time. And you add a modifier by going to the wrench and selecting add modifier. Then you select mirror. Now we want this model to be a bit rounder to look like a stick. And you can do this by adding a modifier called subdivision surface. So click on a wrench and add subdivision surface. And with this modifier, you can press shift E to decide on how much the vertices are affected by the modifier. And now we'll add a loop cut. So press Ctrl R and drag it along the edges depending on where you want your loop cut to be. Then press C and select all the vertices where we want our handle to be. And just press E. Then scale inwards by pressing S, Shift, X. Then select these vertices and then press Shift, E. Then just drag it in a bit. Then we want to extrude. And rotate. Then make a loop cut, and then pull it out to get some nice curves. Pull back the outer part. And now we got the basic shape of a bow. And next we would like to add a string. And to do that we add in a cube. And then we can scale it around the X axis by pressing S Shift X. And here we want to add a loop cut, so press Ctrl R. And you add this loop cut because in the next tutorial I will show you how to rig the bow. And in the end of that video I will also show you how to make a simple shoot animation for the bow. And here is the basic bow. And here I just add some minor details. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I currently work on my uploading schedule that is currently non-existent. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.